Hi, I'm Dustin and welcome to Overworked Logic. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use one symbol in simple windows to create a pop-up like this that counts down. In Vision Tools Pro E, I created a very basic project with the TSW770. I have a main page and a system shutdown subpage. On the main page, I've got a nice background that I just downloaded from Google and I've got a couple buttons. What I did here is I put a fill border with a bit of opacity to kind of give a background underneath these buttons. This is kind of a dark theme. It's pretty dark, but I think it looks okay. So we've got room PC, laptop, Blu-ray, and system off. These buttons aren't really doing anything. We're just using system off to demonstrate the pop-up. So this subpage is very basic. It's just got some text and a gauge that's not touch settable with an analog feedback join of one. And what I did is I just dragged this on top of here and gave it the join of 10. So when feedback 10 is held high, then the sub page will show and I can right click and do visible just to see what that looks like. Now of note, I added a transition type of fade with an exponential in and out and put the time to 0.5 instead of the default of 0.2. That'll make it kind of pop in and pop out a little bit snappier. It looks cooler in my opinion. Now let's go over to simple windows and see how to connect this. So I created this project. I set an MC4 as a processor and I added a TSW770 as the first ethernet device at IPID03. Let's switch over to the program view. Now, first thing we need to do is connect some joins from the panel. So we've got five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm gonna show you a little trick for naming signals. I can go room PC, laptop, Blu-ray, and then system off. But what I wanna add is a prefix. So I select all those, press shift alt six, to get the signal prefix and press TP and space and then alt six to get a suffix and I'll go press space and press. You can also find these options if you don't remember the keys under edit. This is add suffix with prompt and add prefix with prompt. Now the only other two things where you have to drive that sub page high with a join of 10. So we'll go TP shut down pop up feedback and we have to drive the gauge. And we'll do TP shutdown gauge feedback percent. I've seen many different ways of doing this. The simplest by a long shot is actually with one symbol. Go to the symbol library with Alt Y. Under logic symbols and sequencing operations, there's a stepper with progress and repeat. The speed key is stepper two. That's all we need to do to make this work. So when you press system off, that's going to be our trigger. The delay, and this is a little bit tricky because we don't actually need the signal here. We need busy. So as the stepper is doing stuff, the busy is high. Busy is actually what's going to hold our sub page open. The delay is going to be how long we want it to stay open. The length here can be zero seconds. And this signal, we're not actually even using it. It's a really sneaky way of using this symbol. Now bar outputs percentage value as it's going through. And then we just need to comment these out. And this is all we need to do. I'm going to add a buffer here because we're not actually using these other presses here and I just don't want a compiler error. Obviously in a real program, you'd use those for something. I'm gonna press control and I to auto complete those. Now I'm going to compile and load it. So I've got it loaded and I'm going to run my panel as an X panel. This button here, run as IPID03. That's what I've got in the program. That will compile it and then it will open here. I'll have to drag it over. So these buttons don't do anything. You can see the presses. And then when we press system off, we get this pop-up and see here it's counting. It's going to do that for 10 seconds. And this pop-up is on top of everything else. You can't do anything. And then it goes away. So that's a very basic way of handling a pop-up like this that makes it really easy. Now, a power tip that I have used sometimes, if you comment out a signal here, say reset pop-up, then you can trigger that from debugger and it will close it. It makes it easier if you're testing stuff and you want to close the please wait timers and stuff like this. You can use this pop-up anywhere that you have a wait pop-up where you want to see a gauge as it's counting. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you liked it, please like the video here on YouTube and consider subscribing to the channel so that you can get notified when we post new content. As always, I love to hear your comments and hear what you're working on, what you're having problems with. Please leave your comments in the section below and we'll discuss it there. Thanks and have a great day.